Jack, welcome back. Hope you had a uh, good off season. We talked to Tuka Rask uh, today, and I asked him who his who he was most impressed with at camp, and he mentioned you as one of the guys. So we we'll just wanted to get your thoughts on, you know, hearing that from from the goaltender first of all, and just what you've been working on in the off season. Yeah, that's that's a great compliment uh, to be involved in. in people he thought of when you asked him that. So uh, thanks, Tukes. But uh, yeah, I just uh, off season, just tried to get bigger, stronger and faster, uh, work on my shot as much as I can. There was uh, lots of ice available back in my hometown. So I was able to get out there and, you know, shoot pucks and stuff like that. So I uh, just tried to round my game out and, and come into camp, you know, at the in the best shape possible. And just like real, um, you know, I've been asking a lot of the younger guys, but are there really any real tangible things that you can draw on from your experiences? Uh, first of all, in a bubble and then do, go, doing something similar this season, but just something specific that isn't just, you know, uh, being comfortable, let's say, but uh, yeah, specific things you can draw on from last time's experience. Yeah, I think it was great to get into some games into the bubble. Um, it helped with my training this summer because I realized, uh, you know, what pace I have to be able to play at and, you know, the shape that I need to be in. So uh, specific things, just like uh, holding onto the puck in the offensive zone, you know, instead of chucking it and, and hoping and um, just things that I learned about my game uh, that, you know, it takes being in real NHL action to learn and um, to see what you have to do to, to become the, the player to consistently be in the lineup. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Just a reminder to media, if you want to get in the queue to ask Jack a question, please hit the raise hand button at the bottom of your screen. We'll go next to Kevin DuPont. Hey, Jack. Um, so much after th those two guys playing so long together, it's, it's kind of all baked in for them with Marshy and Berge. So w when you're playing with them, do you get a sense of that, that they're playing off their kind of developed mutual instinct? And, and given that, uh, presuming I'm right, uh, what does that mean for you in terms of, you know, interfacing with them? Yeah, it's no secret those two have unbelievable chemistry, uh, the way that they see the ice and uh, the ability to play with each other, like you said, it is awesome. So uh, they like to play at a high pace, uh, always moving their feet, you know, always separating from guys. So uh, I just want to hop in there and, and you know, if, if given the opportunity, just play my game and play to my strengths, which is speed and, and playmaking and, um, you know, just playing at a high tempo like those two like to. So, but yeah, they're really good players together. And, you know, if I'm fortunate enough to get an opportunity, um, just little things like pace and, and being in the right spots and, um, you know, as hopefully – begin to read off them a little bit better and uh, hopefully fit in uh, to create some chemistry. Can you tell us some of the conversation you've had with them, what they're telling you, what you're asking them, maybe in a couple of specific instances? Uh, I think that you know, the message is clear. I think they just want me to, to play my game and, and hopefully, like I said, we can create some chemistry. Um, you know, in terms of systems and where to be in certain situations, I think they're really helpful with um, teaching you and uh, in a way that they're explaining it, uh, that it's easy to understand. So, um, you know, system wise, I think they're always there to lend a helping hand. And then, you know, aside from that, I think it's just about playing my game and oh, hopefully it works. Great. Thank you. We'll go next to Eric Russo. Hey, Jack. Uh, this isn't the first time you've been at camp with these guys, not the first time you've practiced with them. <clears throat> Does it get a little bit easier each time? And how much more comfortable do you, do you feel this time around? Yeah, I think in the bubble there, there were some instances where we were able to practice together. Um, I know back in China, I played with Marshy. Uh, so yeah, like, like you said, every time it gets easier. But you know, I think I'm at the point in my career where um, you know, whoever I'm out there with, I'm comfortable. Um, you know, a, a sense of you know, I believe that I belong. So, um, you know, they're big name players, obviously, but I'm just trying to play my game and uh, definitely feel comfortable with them. Yeah. We'll do one last call for questions. In the meantime, if Sophia or Kevin has a follow up, feel free to unmute yourself and ask. Hey, actually, I did want to follow up on what uh, Kevin said with your conversations with that top line. And I know they don't want you to be, you know, pasta. They want you to play uh, your game. But have have there been any questions, um, not questions, comments about 
you know, playing to, to their strengths? Is that something you're maybe personally trying to, maybe you're watching them or, or live or like tape or looking back at last season, not sure what you have access to, but um, reading them as opposed and kind of adjusting a little bit um, on your end? Uh, yeah, I, I've had an opportunity to watch them for some years now, uh, whether, you know, in the cup run, um, you know, I was watching every game being a black ace and, um, you know, since I've been a part of the organization, I, I've always, you know, if I'm not doing much, I'll throw a Bruin, the Bruins game on. So, you know, I, I, I know how those two like to play. Like I said, it's a high pace, uh, support each other in the offensive zone. Um, so, yeah, just like I said, try to create some chemistry and you know, hopefully our games mesh well and, you know, we're able to have some success.